everyone, this is Charu, legal intern at Lexis and Company. In this video, let's know about the status of living relationships in India. In a much awaited observation on living relationships, the Supreme Court opened that a man and a woman living together without marriage cannot be construed as an offence. When two people want to live together, what is the offence? Does it amount to an offence? A special three-judge bench constituting of the Chief Justice of India, K.G. Balakrishnan, and Justices Deepak Verma and B.S. Chauhan observed, the Supreme Court said that there was no law prohibiting living relationships or premarital sex. Living together is a right to live. The Supreme Court said apparently referring to Article 21 of the Indian Constitution which guarantees right to life and personal liberty as a fundamental right. The Supreme Court made the observation while reserving its judgment on a special leave petition filed by a not noted South Indian actress Kushbu seeking to squash 22 criminal cases filed against her after she allegedly endorsed premarital sex in interviews to various magazines in the year of 2005. Now let's first know the meaning of this term. Live-in relationship, that is cohabitation, is an arrangement whereby two people decide to live together on a long term or permanent basis or in an emotionally and or sexually intimate relationship. The term is most frequently applied to couples who are not married. Today, cohabitation is a common pattern among people in the Western world. People may live together for a number of reasons. These may include wanting to test the compatibility or to establish financial security before marrying. It may also be because they are unable to legally marry, for instance, if they are of the same sex, some interracial or interreligious marriages are not legal or permitted. Other reasons include living with someone before marriage in an effort to avoid divorce a way for polygamists or, or polymorists to avoid breaking the law, a way to avoid the higher income taxes paid by some two-income married couple, negative effects on pension payments among older people, philosophical opposition to the institution of marriage, and seeing a little difference between commitment to living together and commitment to marriage. Some individuals may also choose cohabitation because they see their relationship as being private and personal matters and not to be controlled by political, religious or patriarchal institutions. Now when we speak of living relationships, we must also know about the legitimacy of the child born out of a living relationship. For this instant matter, the Supreme Court on an earlier occasion while deciding a case involving the legitimacy of a child born out of wedlock has ruled that if a man and a woman are involved in a living relationship for a long period, they will be treated as a married couple and their child would, would be legitimate. Also, the recent changes introduced in law through the Domestic Violence Act in the year 2005 gives protection to women involved in such relationship for a reasonable long period and promises them the status of wives. A Supreme Court bench headed by Justice Arjit Pasyat declared that children born out of such a relationship will no more be called illegitimate. Law inclines in the interest of legitimacy and thumbs down horsen or fruit of adultery. So that's it for today's video guys. Don't forget to like this video, comment your feedbacks and subscribe to Let's Click for more legal stuff.